Thanks, Eamon. Good morning. The health watchdog for England says it's uncovered thousands of shocking stories of patients being incorrectly discharged from hospitals. Government departments are to be told to sell off billions of pounds worth of land and other assets as part of the Chancellor's public sector spending review. Police in Rotherham are being told they're still not doing enough to protect children from sexual exploitation. The eldest son of the broadcaster, Sir David Frost, has collapsed and died at the age of 31. Well, that's it from us for now. Join us for a full roundup of the day's news on the lunchtime news at 1.30. Till then, enjoy the rest of your morning. Goodbye. The shocking lack of care towards the vulnerable discharged from hospitals. This is ITV News with Charlene White. Good afternoon. An 81-year-old sent at night, sent home at night in a taxi following a severe stroke. A cancer patient sent back to an unheated home in winter and found freezing and struggling to breathe. Just two of the thousands of shocking stories unearthed by a report into early hospital discharge. Healthwatch England says one million NHS patients end up being readmitted to hospital because they're rushed out of the door too early at a cost of nearly two and a half billion pounds a year. NHS England say hospitals should be making sure patients are properly discharged. Richard Pallo reports. I'm joined now by Phil. Now we're talking about common basic mistakes mm -hmm. here and where is it that we're going wrong? If there's a case of coordination surely we just need to learn to do that better. What's happening? So there are failings somewhere because if this whole idea of coordination isn't working people who are going back within a month of being discharged then something else surely needs to be done. Cost so much. I mean, as Richard said in his uh, film just there, £2.4 billion, according to the National Audit yeah. Office. That's money that surely the yeah. NHS can't afford to be throwing away into, uh, w by doing things like this. It's, 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 a, it's a big beast, as we know. Are we expecting too much in terms of one to one tailored care? Uh, coordination isn't something that's going to happen overnight. Is there a plan towards trying to improve this over a period of time? OK, well, Phil, thank you so much. Well, more details from that report are available. Eurotunnel has warned of significant disruption as to services if burning tyres on the Calais motorway are not removed by French police. OK, we've got some breaking news for you now. And a man from Luton has been charged over an alleged plan to attack US military personnel in the UK. The man's also been charged together with his uncle with attempting to join so-called Islamic State in Syria. Rohit Kachu is here with us. Uh, Rohit, what more do we know about this? Well, he is 24 and his uncle Shazib Ahmed Khan, he is 22 years old. OK, Rohit, thanks very much. Still to come... For that, though, a second body has been discovered in the wreckage of the wood mill in Bosley in Cheshire. Police and fire officers are still searching for two people who remain missing. It is there for his Damon, quite a sad discovery this morning. Brighton Beach could soon become the latest tourist spot to go smoke-free. The local council are asking people if they want a voluntary smoking ban along the shoreline and in parks. There's already one in place in the city's playgrounds, but there's opposition from campaigners who say it's unnecessary. Well, Duncan Golastani is there for us this afternoon. Duncan. The website to Ashley Madison has apologised to users for a second time after its database was stolen by hackers. The website, dubbed the Google of cheating, is used by married people who want to have an affair. It claims to have 37 million users worldwide, including 1 million here in the UK. For coming in, I, I'm not sure an apology would be enough for those whose, whose details have been taken. How were these hackers able to do this in the first place? I mean, there are many, many people in the UK who will be signed up to dating websites, for example, as well as adult websites. Should they be worried about the fact there is so much personal information on there and the chances that they could be taken by hackers? The reality of it is, is there is a lot of personal information on there. And, you know, there are a lot of people who do share personal information on and not proves that they have a high level of security. Um... Are these websites legally bound to protect our information? In sport, the first match of the women's Ashes is underway in Taunton today. It's a seven-match series, but unlike the men, it includes both test matches and one-day internationals.
Finally, it's official. If you really want to embarrass your kids, there's only one thing for it. Make a beeline for the dance floor. A survey shows that dads or mums busting out the dance moves is the most cringeworthy way for a child to witness being embarrassed by their parents, closely followed by friending them on social media and not knowing your WhatsApp from your WhatsApp. Sally Bidolf has more. Goodness, my dad does the same thing. Uh, right, that's it from us this lunchtime. Alice Stewart and Mary Nightingale will be here with the ISV News at 6.30. The news where you are follows the national weather. But from everyone here, enjoy your afternoon. Bye. Hello again, now the main stories in London. Boris Johnson's deputy has defended the decision to equip the Met Police with three water cannon trucks, even though they can't be used. The talks over the tube dispute have been suspended because the RMT has made a complaint to the rail regulator. The Met Police has recovered a large number of weapons after searching two addresses in West London. An employment tribunal could rule today on a restaurant supervisor who was sacked from Harrods for eating a slice of cake. Time for a look at the weather now. Here's Martin. That's all for now, but you can get updates throughout the day by going to our website, usual address, icv.com slash London. Lucrezia Millerini will be back at six o'clock, but you have a good afternoon. Goodbye.